Let's see, it's not even that late, actually. I think we have time for one more. So why don't we do one more? One more hard run here. Mountain. Two blue and a green. I want that. That seems cool. Yeah, I want that. Choose a tier eight curse before fight 14. No burst. No burst at all. I have to rely on other spells, potentially. No burst might not be the worst thing if we just have other spells. Or we can give monster shields on turn one. It is the worst. Currently, no burst would be detrimental. Hmm. Top and bottom can't be re-rolled. Love that. I guess shield one on turn one is not that bad. Let's take that. That doesn't seem like it's too, too ugly. I don't think we get through the early fights without uh, burst here. Shield to focus. That doesn't duplicate it. No, we cannot strike. And the shield one does mean we can't actually kill these fools. Well, not quite actually. We do have this. Every turn? Did I misread that? Yeah, shield one every turn. I did misread that. Okay, that's spookier. It's definitely spookier. It causes some more trouble. Not the worst thing in the world, but definitely is not as simple. Cursed chest. Absolutely not. Learned my lesson about that. Leric has mana on a blue hero or mimic. Green hero with 10 max health instead of two is a big upgrade. Mana growth, two mana. Oh, this is, that's right. This replace my sides with the middle base sides of other heroes. We're getting the middle side off the other heroes here. That's kind of cool, actually. Mimic seems awesome this early on. Kill a bee, I'm not gonna bother. Concerning. Okay, so that bee will perish. Kill the goblin.
Definitely have a sort of a slower play style with all the enemies having one shield, but I think that fits with two gray heroes. And an archer and a rat to get the pole arm. Sounds scary. Wait, what's a log? Rolls away if only logs remain. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sounds like it might overwhelm us. A little intimidated, actually. Say no. Heal two on turn one or replace the left side with two damage growth. Go with the shield. Put it on the squishy guy. This is pretty good on Squire, too. Archer can hide behind the log. Oh, that's true. It's giving bonus uh, durability to the archers. I hadn't considered that, but that's exactly what's going on there. All right, we got it. Take that, you stinky log. She wait. It's not good enough. But the middle side matters quite a bit for Mimic, so that's even better with the middle side being the mana two side. I like Glacia's spell a lot. Two damage plus weaken two can stop a summon, for example. Wire into a generated gray hero. That's a pretty good gray hero with a nine hit point stun. A cannot die side, a three damage side, and a shield three steel side. That's very good, actually. But I really like Glacia, so we're going Glacia. Versus Gary. It's uh, not a very good weak inside. Go. 
Low and steady wins the race. And when the Alpha tries to summon, we can use Weekend to prevent that. Well, let's roll for the Weekend. One more time. No luck. That summons zero wolves. Autumn leaf. Add growth to the rightmost sides or replace the top sign with one damage ranged duplicate. Copy onto allied sides. Only Glacia benefits from the growth. I'm going to roll a random side, I think. Random item. Static Tome. Replace the top and bottom sides with one mana pair. Now that's good. I think the Squire makes some mana. So we got mana generation on four different heroes now. Pretty good. Imagine not having burst. <laughs> I think we'd be so dead. We'd just be super dead. Barky! I can kill an enemy with exactly two health. Hmm. Lowers the power of the mimic. Or squire into guardian. Gains uh, engage shield sides. That's kind of cool. Let's go with Guardian. Oh, Sparky has charged attacks, though. Those are really good. Actually, yeah, let's go Sparky. Sparky does do a whole lot of damage. You are all correct. Squire. Sparky can kill a shade in one hit, maybe. Or can potentially bring a shade. Is it exactly two? Exactly two, huh? Can work with that. Does three. Oh, they have one block though. Oh shoot. Ah, oh, they have block. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep the mana for next turn. Yeah, whatever. Drelf with the Prime sub. Thanks for the 10 months. You keep watching. I'll keep making content. Sounds good. Seeds add undergrowth to the two left sides. After use, the opposite side gets plus one pip. Or one shield per turn. I'll take shield one every turn. That's fine. Not sparky, I guess. A 
Sparky is really good against the slates. Maybe. So much, actually. thing. Negate that attack entirely. And then they're both two health. So zapping is very easy. See you later, Just Blake. Bard. Bard has charged. No cantrip. Shield to all allies. Gain reroll. Else. For a blank side, they can do Shield One Cleanse. Kind of cool. Or Buckle Into Knight. Knight has Damage Exert Sides and can parry for damage pips, allowing us to block even more. That's right, Poet is the one with charge. Thank you. Kind of upsets me that the Squire isn't leveling up into the Knight, but sure, I'll take the Knight. Night, night. These are steel, so give you the auto shields. Sarcopagus flees at the end of turn three. If we can kill it before then, we'll get a bonus. Right now, killing the null is more important. A bit better. Sparky. I think that was smart. It's just five damage, so it instantly kills an old. I could use all my mana to kill the Knoll, actually. It's probably smart. So that's not very good right now. turn to kill it. Seems tough, but doable. Do, what, 10 health here? Doable. Very doable. Come on. Ah, close. I don't think that quite cuts it, but maybe? Oh no, that's good enough. Sweet. We get Scepter. Replace this left side with one damage lead, or maybe lead. Looks like lead. After use, other heroes' sides that share a type with this get plus one this turn. Other heroes' sides that share a type with this. I don't think I understand. 
going to reroll Mimic. Mim mimic is good. Boosts damage sides. Okay. Full moon. Every second turn, become a wolf. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Guess I'll just uh, get a random item. Do something random. Chainmail, three max health. That's always good. That's always good. Yeah, so I guess one damage lead is not so helpful here, huh? It's fine. Two damage to kill an illusion. That's kind of annoying. Support. They've got stuns, they've got cannot die, they've got add shield, and they've got use your dice again. Pilgrim with the holy book's not that bad. Or armor, also good with the book. Boost, it's just damage and shield sides. Work on the weekend and the mana gain. And the focuses. It's okay. I think I like Pilgrim more here. Like the support items they have. Lots of bones. Bones could be a problem. Looks tough. Surely. Good work. Let's see. Very defensive party we have. I like it, actually.
slow and steady. Everyone's still alive. We got, ooh, carriers. These are spooky. These start poisoned, and they can inflict lots of poison. That's nasty. Ambrosia, allowing us to reuse a side if it saves a hero. Or Shimmering Halo, two max health whenever a hero is saved. A lot of stuff involving saving a hero. Ambrosia's pretty good on the knight. Also, don't hate a uh, random item here. But let's go Ambrosia. That shield steel side can be reused. If it would save someone. Nobody's poisoning anyone. That's really good luck. Try to roll block on the night. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. All right, let's just kill one quick then. And break the ghosts in Vuln. Harry is also block. True. Doesn't help me though. Ghost killing time. Uh, hmm. Although, I can't bring it to exactly two health. I can just kill it the normal way. That's fine. Apparently. Time to fight the Baron. Baron's pretty easy, giving us mana every other damage we deal to them. Ooh, we can swap to Sorcerer, who has cantrip mana sides. Or Stoic, who has a ton of max health, still has a stun. And has redirecting power. Sorcerer, though. Sorcerer has the Miasma spell. One damage poison cleave. Seems pretty good. Glacia does good work against Baron. Let's try Stoic, I guess.
Not awful, but not great. Exert for you. Two Skellingtons. Or are they? I don't think they are. Imagine playing this without burst. Unconscionable. Oh, I see that only did one damage. That's right, don't do that yet. Pristine to the middle side. Hmm. Kind of good on Glacia. Jewel loop. Add mana gain to all sides that have exactly one pip. That's no good. Most of our one pip sides are already mana sides. So do I take the tie? I guess it's okay. The sides are mana, but not mana gain. Okay, hold on. So you're telling me that this is actually good. In fact, it's really good because it works on these. Plus one mana, mana gain pair, yeah. Cool. Seems all right. Let's try to roll that. Sparky, no. Oh, I see we just have to kill the knoll. That doesn't sound too hard. There's one mana mana gain. And roll these again. Here we go. So yes, that gains four mana now. Neat. <laughs> Very neat. would definitely be nice.
Any chance of overkilling the Basilisk? I don't think so. Right, just to lower the health, we'd have to spend the mana, and then the Sparky side does no damage. Necrothal TV, thanks for the Prime sub. Your sub streak can drive. Now watch this drive. Yeah, maybe with Night Sword, maybe. Or Night. the other one. All right, cool. Three snipers? Spooky. We've got ghast. Five mana death. Kill an enemy with exactly one health, then gain three mana. So we have kill one, kill two as separate abilities. That's kind of badass. What is tainted? Three damage cleave, three damage cleave, two blanks that can't change, four poison. On pick, gain a random tier 4 curse. How about no thanks? So do we take the ghast? I say we take the ghast. That sounds good. We still keep a lot of weakening from Glacia. We actually lose one max health. Random's also not horrible. I don't disagree. Don't disagree. Why would you ever pick Tainted? Well, it does have pretty strong sides. Leave three is pretty good as a base side. If we're being honest here. Except I no longer have any one pip sides to reasonably double this. It's kind of a bummer. Save the night. Death is permanent, but plus one pip to all sides. Not horrible on maybe stoic? Everybody else is, uh, yikes, right? 
or wooden bracelet. Plus one pip to all signs that have no keywords. Perfect on ga ghast, yeah. I'm gonna reroll here. Tentacle, repel on the two right sides. That's cool on these. Yeah, that'll hit everybody, actually. Seems cool. Bonk. Dinky regenerating trolls. side is going to work. any need to die here. So let's not do that. <laughs> Harvest the trolls. Up with the troll king. Like a troll, but stronger. Knight into stalwart. Or mimic into twin. I'd have to have a hell of an item for twin here. Uh, we do have static tome stuff. Hmm. So we could do twin tome jewel loop. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let me make a lot of mana every turn. Mezzo Emerus with the 40 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Let's try Twin here. I haven't done Twin before. Or we could uh, we could bo go both give them Scepter. That's interesting as well. on the thing that was plus one to other stuff, right? Yeah. Let's put this on Ghast, maybe. Although, actually, having the option to use that is a nice next thing, actually. And this one's called Twin with a 1. I like that. So combined, they only have 8 health. That's not very good for a tier 3. But the whole rolling two dice thing, that's pretty good.
Stun. Take one. Take a turn. Random tier one cursed item and a random tier four item. You know what? Sure. What do we got here? Replace blank sh sides with shield one cantrip. Death is permanent for someone. Okay, well, that's kind of spooky. Add era to all mana or mana gain sides. That's definitely good. Hmm. Take a random. Horned Viper. Add poison to the two left sides. Except nobody actually really benefits from that. Maybe Sparky does. Bad. <laughs> Alright, Stoic. Death is permanent for you. fine. Okay. So yes, those are both great. Those are stupid good. Got the poison. Got the redirect too. want to do that. I see. Oh, because the cantrip dice. I see. Not sure why that didn't do any damage. I'm confused. Oh well. There's a ranged. Okay, that's what I thought, but there's nothing actually to. It's not like it's a keyword on their dice. Their attacks have the range keyword? Patently false, but uh, understandable. Oh, it's because the redirect goes before the repel. Yeah, that, that makes sense. 
The redirect goes before the repel. Uh, don't let the stoic die. Seems bad. And parry. Carry the knight. Or you know, don't. I got 100, 101, 102 achievements, and the achievement that's called I Wish I Could Undo This Achievement. <laughs> Hello? What do you mean? Dramir, thank you so much for uh, dropping in. Drummer says, I've been watching your YouTube videos and managed to get the Ascension 10 in a bit over a week, so thanks for the great content. Well done. Weaver. Three mana. Ooh, crush. Three damage to the top and bottom, I like. And a charged mana gain side is very strong. Or Poet also has charged shield sides. And Clink. Boost all allies is kind of nuts, actually. Clink is insane, right? I really want the poet. Really want the poet. Although that means rescue is not going to happen there. What about uh, rescue on the stun side? And then the repel is not actually any good. But put that on the poet, maybe. Then we got shield cantrip repel sides. That's pretty good. And yeah, I'm not using that on the ghast. Let's just replace it. Roll everybody again. Not terrible. Wouldn't call that good, though. Do wonderful things. Perfect. Good. Sure. All these. Okay. Kill this guy. Boost everyone. This is eight mana. This attack now does 15. Killing the spiker instantly. Just two to go. Bike stone. Add fumble and plus three pips to the middle column. 50% chance to be blank each turn. Seems iffy. Or we can add cantrip with a time stone to the two right sides. Nobody really benefits from that. Oh, it's already got cantrip there. I could make these cantrip, but I don't really want the stoic to redirect on cantrip. That sounds terrifying. So let's take a random item. Spike stone sounds really iffy.
The Sapphire Ring plus one pip to all mana gain sides. That's good. It's good on Sparky or on the Twins. Viper's not doing much. It's a tier 9 item, though. Seems bad to not use it. I like plus 3 damage. I'll put more max health on Ghast. Decent. Decent enough. I wouldn't call it great, though. Summoning an imp, huh? Seems like a pretty good turn. Oh, I see, that's already doubled. I'm gonna double it again. Eight mana, 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 block, lots, 15 mana. is our final opponent. Uh, it's going to make the mana scaling a bit of an issue, huh? Ronos looks all right. We can cleave. Does Mana Burn hit both of my bottom heroes, or, the, or just the actual bottom one? Just one, okay. I think it's going to be Artificer. We can add Poison to this side, too. Let's just Poison to the two left sides. Yeah, okay, let's go Artificer here. Oh, this is... Oh, poison charged? Oh, my. Okay. That's actually way better than I realized. That's right. This is an attack, too. Okay, this this will deal with Hexia. All we have to do is poison Hexia. We should be able to win. They sent a poet. Okay, there's two damage poison. Good enough. Probably good enough. Ugh. Pretty bad overall. Ram managed to roll basically no mana gain. That card's bad. We're getting poisoned a bit. Can't even use this spell. I got no mana. Oh wait, this is uh, mana gain. Actually, I have one mana. Oh yeah, so I can actually. Okay.
Cool. Oh, it's all petrified now. mana. And damage all goes to Stoic here? Yeah. I can burst, but it's just redirecting. Not smart. But Stoic dying is not the worst thing at this time. Seems kind of prudent. And then we don't deal with the pain either. But pain, no gain. It's kind of spooky overall, though. Gast versus one imp. Can Gast win that fight? Hmm. What if I do this instead? That fight we can win. Sacrifice. GG! 